Hi everyone. For those who don't know me, my name's Catherine J or Catherine Joy. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And it's about reframing your thinking. And for example, work. Some people see it as a four letter dirty word. Um, I think it's healthy for everybody. I think the earlier that we can get, you know, even children to help with the housework or, um, you know, young adults, because it's building teamwork, it's, it's, fighting off entitlement, as an example. Um, and so I was challenged over the weekend to start doing some videos and actually reading um, from different books that I've written. And this one is actually on the gift of work. And it's from the book that I wrote a few years ago, Prosper As Your Soul Prospers. And the subtitle is A Holistic Approach to Basic Money Management from a Soul and Spirit Perspective. So soul is your mind, will and emotions. And this um, is from the mind section because it's changing your mindset, reframing your mind regarding work. Okay, so the two main points from this chapter are choose to see work as a blessing and practice gratitude. What is the value of work? One way of exercising self-control toward our desired destination of being in a position of having more resources to steward is to work. We can choose to think of work as a gift rather than something to endure. I see work as an absolutely wonderful gift. We need doctors and lawyers, teachers, waiters, cleaners and bricklayers. All work is valuable. I have come to realise that all work can also be an expression of creativity, especially when we choose to see it that way. We can choose to do whatever the task is with excellence. Whether we choose to acknowledge it or not, there is always someone watching. Your character is revealed at work, especially when you are under pressure. The gifts of work are, limit, are limitless. A few years ago, I surveyed a group of colleagues and students, mostly aged between 18 and 22, with a few older people up to 40 and 50 years old. I posed the question, what is the value of work? Some of the responses included, Understanding that the time and effort traded for the particular item, thus learning the value of money. Understanding that over time it is better to receive a higher amount per hour for less effort and this usually requires the sacrifice of further income, for, sorry, further education. I'll just read that one back. Understanding over time that it is better to receive a higher amount per hour for less effort and this usually requires the sacrifice of further education. Next response, coming to understand the parent's sacrifice and point of view, especially regarding education. Learn skills, increase self-esteem, a sense of achievement, prepare you for later in life. Learn how to handle and mishandle money, so use it or abuse it. The opportunity to earn and own money so you can give gifts to others. Time management, such as being punctual or getting the sack. Working to a deadline. Doing things you don't want to do. Taking responsibility. And being able to buy rewards for yourself. I have met many people who are unemployed. And I've been unemployed. Most of them ready, readily admit that they cannot pay for their own cost of living and so are going into further debt or have even become homeless. Some have had their possessions repossessed. Some are hiding from their debt collectors. An example from a small group session. A, a trendy 20 year old was wearing a nice jacket. You know the padded, fur, the padded ones with the fur trim. We had just done an activity where we had heard that in Australia at that time, the typical hourly rate for teens for part-time work was between eight to $10. I gave a price to the jacket and asked, how many hours would you need to work to buy this jacket? Someone yelled 10, which by the way was not correct, but made the point even better. That financial and mathematical education is often lacking. So I asked the students, is this jacket worth 10 hours of work? The class was shocked and there was a resounding no. Most of my former students who came to Perth to study English for various reasons were supported financially by their parents. I had them consider how many hours 
their parents needed to work to pay for their further education. Each day I ended the session with a time of reflection and review. Participants were asked to reflect using the following patterns. Today I liked, today I learned, or today I am grateful for. Following the above mentioned session, some reflections were, today I learned to be grateful to my parents for the sacrifice that they made for me. Today I am grateful to my teachers and managers who gave me more chances to change my attitude from a lazy bad student to a good student. Today I liked to understand how I have been selfish and how I can change that to consider others. And people wonder why I do what I do. That's easy. For people to change their lives, they need to change their mindset. I am fascinated with why we think what we think and also how we can change what is not working for us. To make a difference in the world, we only need to make a difference in one person's life so then they can, can make a, a difference in another person's life. So the next time you are complaining about going to work, why not choose to be grateful instead and think of at least five blessings you receive from working. Belle's story. Belle, not her real name. Belle is an Australian who is living in the US. She became extremely successful selling cars, ranked in the top salespeople in the USA for her high profile company. Then she had a life changing accident. Depression followed. However, over time she came to understand the gift of work. Her brother encouraged her to retrain and although she was in constant pain and was, wear, was forced to wear unattractive supports, she concentrated on making the most of her time. She taught herself skills and digital photography, well, before it became mainstream, such as with Photoshop. She was extremely talented with repairing old photographs and soon began a new business. Possible ways forward. Choose to change your perspective. Be grateful for the job you have. Create time. Turn off the television or get up an hour earlier each day or while you watch your son play cricket to learn a new skill that will enhance your life and perhaps even lead to a new career that inspires you. And finally, questions to reflect on. What are three things that you are grateful for in your current job? And that may even be as a student. How has working changed your life? Could you choose to be more joyful in your job? Will 